Hey, good day, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Andrew's Life. This I'm going to be doing, this video is going to be a video of Enterprise Alabama. And I'm going to most likely be doing multiple videos of this city, of Enterprise Alabama. And it, now, Enterprise Alabama is located here in southern Alabama in Coffee County. I'm gonna start the video off here on Dolphin Street here in Enterprise. Now I do got my GPS on just to keep me somewhat Turn on track. Turn right onto Wesley Drive. So I don't get too off track here. Now off the top of my head, I do not know what side of town this is on. So. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Alberta Street. I'm going to name streets off. Right now, I'm on Dolphin Streets. Now, here's a little bit of information about Enterprise. Enterprise is here in Coffee County in Southern Alabama. The city was founded in 1896. The population is 28,990. Take the next people. left onto Alberta Street. And this city has been growing at a rate of 10% as of the 2020 census. The population density is nine. In a quarter mile, turn right onto East Watts Street. The population density is at 947 people, which isn't too bad at all. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Say Street. Now the median home price here is $154,000. And Enterprise Alabama, according to my research, used to be the leading in 1,000 feet, turn right onto Forest Avenue. Now, according to my research, Enterprise Alabama used to lead in the production of peanuts. And Enterprise Alabama. Take the next right onto Say Street, then turn left to stay on Say Street. Enterprise Alabama is also the home of many of your celebrities and, and major sport figures. In 600 feet, turn right to stay on Mixon Street. Like for an example, you know, a few people that are either from Enterprise or maybe they're still currently living here in Enterprise. Turn right to stay on Mixon Street, then turn left onto Reese Avenue. I mean, you got Kendrick Adams, you got TJ Barnes, you got Jimmy McClain. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Kelly Street. And you also got a fair amount of politicians that are either from Enterprise or they currently live here in, in, in Enterprise. So that's just a little bit of history about Enterprise. Now, obviously, this city's got way more history than that. So if you're interested in that type of history, you can do your own research. I mean, you know, my main purpose of my channel is to expose or show you guys different cities of whatever state that I choose to visit or move to.
take the next right onto Kelly Street, then turn left onto North Main Street. I mean, like I told you guys before, I don't really get into the whole history of the city. I don't get into politics. It's not my cup of tea. I prefer to just drive around and show you guys different parts of the different cities and different sides of town and just share with you some of the information that I've researched about the In housing 500 prices, feet, turn left onto Mixon Street. About housing prices and things of that sort. Turn left onto Mixon Street, then turn left onto Gilbert Street. And of course, I love to give my opinion of how I feel about a particular city or neighborhood. Right now, continue straight onto Clover Street, then turn right onto Forest Avenue. Well, if you guys listen to my GPS, you guys will have a idea of where I'm at here in Enterprise. So I'm gonna leave my GPS on for that purpose. Then and it'll help me not get take the next right onto Forest Avenue. Then and it'll help me not get too off track here. feet turn right onto Clover Street take the next right onto Clover Street then turn right onto East Watts Street in 1,000 feet turn right onto Alberta Street But yeah, this is a really good prize, whatever side of town this is on. It doesn't look bad at all. I mean, most of the yards look well kept. Most of your houses look like they're also well kept. A lot of these houses are not big at all. They're smaller, easier. They're, they're smaller, which means utilities cost are low, and they're easier to maintain as opposed to having a bigger home. A lot of these yards, I mean, they're nothing massive. They're, you know, they're decent size in town lot. Take the next right onto Alberta Street, then turn right onto East Watts Street. I mean, this is a nice little area. Nothing fan, nothing too fancy here. Just, uh, it just appears to be a solid working class community here. Take the next right onto East Watts Street. Take the next right onto Henderson Street, then turn right onto Heath. Take the next right onto Heath. Half a mile, turn left onto Legion Drive.
I mean, some of these houses here look, you know, they look pretty, you know, they look pretty nice. Somewhat upscale, in my opinion. Take the next left onto Legion Drive, then turn right onto East Lee Street. Take the next right onto East Lee Street. Continue on East Lee Street for three quarters of a mile. In 1,000 feet, continue straight onto West Lee Street. All right, folks, I believe this is going to be the downtown Enterprise area. So we're going to go through downtown Enterprise. And now I'm on North Edward Street. In 300 feet, turn right onto East College Street. Turn right onto East College Street, then turn right onto North Main Street. Yep, this is downtown Enterprise. So we're going to go through downtown real quick. Take the next right onto East Grub Street, then turn right onto South Main Street. Take the next right onto South Main Street. In 
Passing 600 feet, turn left onto West Lee Street. And again, people, just as a, another reminder, I am recording this video on a weekend day. I mean, today is Sunday. It's actually Super Bowl Sunday on the time and on the, on the day that I'm recording this video. So, once again, Enterprise Alabama is not this dead, lame, nothing going on type of city. As I told you earlier in the video, this city has a growing population at a, at a rate of 10% as of the 2020 census. So this city is not dead. Take the I'm, next left onto West Lee Street, then you'll arrive at your destination. I mean, clearly this ain't Las Vegas, but it's not dead either. I mean, this city does have life in it. So just thought I'll let you guys know. I mean, if I were to do this video during the week. In 400 feet, turn left onto West Adams Street. If I were to take do, the next left onto West Adams Street, then turn left onto North Connor Street. If I were to do this video during the week, you would see way more traffic than you see at this moment. Take the next left onto North Connor Street, then turn left onto West Lee Street. Take the next right onto North Main Street, then turn right onto Westley Street. Take the next right onto Westley Street, then you'll arrive at your destination. Take the next left onto Easy Street, then turn left onto North Edwards Street. Take the next right onto West College Street. In 800 feet, turn right onto North Rawls Street. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto East Harrison Street. Turn left onto East Harrison Street, then turn left onto South Main Street. Take the next left onto South Main Street. A quarter mile, turn left onto Westley Street.
Take the next left onto South Edwards Street. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto East Lee Street. Turn left onto East Lee Street, then continue straight onto West Lee Street. In 800 feet, turn left onto West Brunson Street. People turn here. left onto West Brunson Street, then turn left onto North Main Street. Boys, well, you guys can see this is the Enterprise Hospital. In 300 feet, turn left onto East Watts Street. Take the next left onto East Watts Street, then turn left onto North Main Street. Take the next left onto North Main Street. In 800 feet, turn left onto North Rawl Street. Alright folks, I'm on North Counter Street right now. Take the next left onto West Brunson Street, then turn right onto North Main Street. In 800 feet, turn left onto West Lee Street. feet, turn left onto North Rawl Street. Take the next left onto North Rawl Street, then turn left onto West Lee Street. In 
400 feet, turn left onto North Reed Street. Take the next left onto North Reed Street, then turn left onto West Lee Street. Take the next left onto West Lee Street. In 400 feet, turn left onto Mack Street. Take the next left onto Mack Street, then turn left onto West College Street. In 300 feet, turn right onto Pine Street. Take the next right onto Pine Street. In 500 feet, turn left onto North Jones Street. Take the next left onto North Jones Street, then turn left onto West College Street. Take the next left onto West College Street. In 400 feet, turn left onto Simmons Street. Take the next left onto Simmons Street. In 600 feet, turn right onto Kentucky Street. Take the next right onto Kentucky Street, then turn right onto West College Street. Take the next right onto West College Street. Take the next right onto Wesley Street. Continue on West Lee Street for three quarters of a mile.
Hi right, folks, I'm at the half hour mark. So in a minute or two, I'm gonna end this video. I'm gonna take this chance to thank everybody for watching and you know, y'all know what to do by now. You know, subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet because I got a lot of other content on this channel. You know, leave comments below. I mean, sometimes I'll get some time to answer a few comments, but as I told you guys before... In 600 feet, merge onto West Adams Street. As I told you guys before, when you guys leave comments below with a, you know, in a form of a question or even a, in a statement, there's going to always be somebody that's going to most likely want to move to the area or they might know a thing or two about the area and they might be able to put their two cents Merge in. onto West Adams Street, then turn right onto Max Street. They might be, you know, they might put their two cents into what they might know that I may have not known. So those are the reasons why I like you guys to leave comments below. And also you guys leaving comments below will help with the algorithm of my channel. On Take YouTube. the next right onto Max Street, then turn left onto West Lee Street. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto North Rawls Street. All right, folks, I'm going to cut it off right here. Uh, everybody have a blessed one. See you all in the next video.